Today on our 2012 Chevrolet Traverse, we'll be installing the Weston Shear Grip Running Boards, part number 27-6620, in conjunction with the Custom Installation Kit, part number 27-1835. To begin our install, we'll first go ahead and identify our attachment points. For each attachment point, we'll be using pre-drilled holes in the frame or subframe of the vehicle. First, we'll go ahead and lay out our hardware and identify the four brackets. We'll have two on each side, one on the front, and one on the rear. For each side, both forward brackets are similar. Once we identify the correct bracket, we'll go ahead and mark them with a yellow paint stick. The rear brackets for each side, although they'll mount the same, the configuration are slightly different. Starting with the driver's side forward bracket, to secure it to the vehicle, we'll be installing two T-bolts into the frame. Once we have the T-bolts in place, we'll go ahead and put the bracket up against the bottom of the frame and then secure it with a flat washer, split lock washer, and nut. Next, we'll go ahead and install the hardware for the rear bracket. We'll install the T-bolt into the frame. We'll install the bridge nut into the rocker panel. Then we'll install the plastic flat washer to secure the bridge nut in place. Now with our hardware in place, we'll go ahead and put the bracket up into position and secure it with the flat washer, split lock washer, and nuts. Now with both the driver's side forward and rear bracket in place, we'll go ahead and assemble the hardware for the running board. We'll take the square headed bolts, slide them into the grooves on the bottom side of the running board. Once we have all four bolts in place, we'll go ahead and set it up on the brackets. Letting the bolts fall down through the slots to secure the running boards, we'll be using the flat washer and nylon lock nut provided with our install kit. Now with all our hardware in place, we'll go ahead and adjust the running board as necessary and then we can begin tightening everything down. Starting with the frame fasteners, and finishing with the running board attachment point. Now with everything tightened down, we'll go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated instructions. With our driver's side installed and secured, we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. And with both sides installed, we're ready to hit the road. And that does it for the install of the Weston Sheer Grip Running Boards, part number 27-6620, with our custom installation kit, part number 27-1835, on our 2012 Chevrolet Traverse.